Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and it is officially December so that means we are in the full Christmas spirit and I am so excited. We're gonna go around and check out all of the holiday festivities and of course try the new cookies of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and uh, just have a jolly good time at Disney Springs. Anywho, let's go do this. <laughs> I can't believe it is December already. Sadly, it doesn't feel like December here in Florida. I uh, put on a flannel today because it's been cold the past couple of days. But when I got here, I realized, wow, it's like 88 degrees out. So we're just going to pretend like it's a cold winter day here at Disney Springs. It's not just Gideon's that has monthly specials going on right now. All of Disney Springs is in like the Christmas spirit like I mentioned. You have the Christmas tree trail where you can go around and have like a little scavenger hunt and find different uh, Disney decorated Christmas trees. And I'll show you some of those. And then also like Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar has a special holiday menu. Amorettes, the usual spots and we're gonna try to check them all out. Disney Springs might be one of the most unique places to come during the holiday season. It's 88 degrees out right now. You have Christmas decorations everywhere, cars driving in the water. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh, yes, it is. Crazy. Well, hello. Hey, how are you? Oh, hi. Are you guys elves? Hello. Well, no, well, Try contrary again. to popular belief, we're not elves, but uh, you can take a second guess. Oh, I don't know take, what. Take a close look. Look at the belts. Look at the hats. Oh, are you? Uh... I'll give you a hint. You used us in school a lot. Your pencils? Yes, we are. Why are you pencils? We come from Cirque du Soleil. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> well, this is so nice. Yeah, we're just out here staying sharp, not too sketchy, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it not too sketchy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Wait, what are you guys doing down here? <laughs> I was just. <laughs> we're doing Gucci's new winter line, but uh. Yeah, Gucci really gave up this year. They did. Yeah. They did. <laughs> that was so funny and completely random. Like, I like to go and like find little quiet spots where there's not a lot of people to usually film, and there was nobody down there. And then they just came like out of nowhere. Like I was filming outwards, they came around my like shoulder, and at first I thought they were elves, but then they're pencils and they're sketchy, and that's kind of cool. They're here for Cirque du Soleil. Uh, the, the, the show here. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that later on. That was actually funny. This is what I was talking about. That's what the pencils were for. I can see it. But like, you know, it's the holiday season. So they kind of look like elves. That looked like an, that looks like an elf right now. Like one of Santa's like helpers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would actually like to see this now. You can see it live only at Disney Springs. Every single night it looks like. Oh no, no Mondays or Tuesdays. They must be on the... Uh, Italian uh, pizza spot in a small town schedule. Closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. First things first, I think we should see how long the wait is to get into Gideon's and join the virtual queue. As you can tell, it is a very busy month for the cookie business and it's probably gonna be uh, kind of maybe a long line. Shockingly, the wait time, well, the virtual queue wait is only 45 minutes. So I put my name in and we should be getting called any second now. And then we just have to hop in like the standby line. Should only be like a 10 minute wait, but uh, it's very popular this time of the season. Like I said, it's the most busiest year for the cookie business. It's Christmas cookies. There literally is a Christmas tree, basically roaming around Disney Springs. Look at this, I love it. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Morrow. Oh, my name. Oh, I'm sort of using our pretend names then. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Chris Pine. What is it? My name is Douglas. Douglas? I'm Douglas Fur. What do you want for Christmas? Oh. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go home for Christmas. Well, where is home? <laughs> I wanna go to uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Why would you wanna go there? It's cold. Yeah. I know, it's hot here. I know. We're rethinking the pants and long sleeve flannel shirt. I, uh, I already addressed that. You're wearing one of those short sleeve Roosevelt shirts that you get. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's a Roosevelt flannel. I want to be on the stroll someday. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I want to be the Star Wars tree. I feel like you could be the star. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I oh am not your father. <laughs> 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 he's not that big of a deal. 
he just happens to know one guy. And that one guy introduced him to a couple other guys, and now he's the guy. So. Can you tell us who that guy is? Oh, his, that guy's name is Dustin. <laughs> That is definitely something new this year. They literally have a Christmas tree roaming around the springs, talking and interacting with guests. And I feel like he knew me a little bit personally because he was making some bold claims there, but I thought it was very entertaining and fun. And uh, <laughs> poor Dustin. <laughs> It is time. They just called our reservation, so it's time to hop in the line now. So we waited, I would say it was just about 45 minutes, and this line right here, you have to get in the back of the line, eh, probably about 10 minutes. Here is the menu for December, and I love the artwork on the front. Look at that. That one's a good one. That one's a keeper. And this year, oh, actually, like every year, they have two cookies. They've got the Kris Kringle, which is a complexity-flavored white chocolate coffee bean cookie, and then the Krampus cookie, the darkest chocolate with a blast of cooling Andes mints. And uh, yeah, and I think they also have a special nitro cold brew. There they are, protected by the glass. You got Cookie Von Krumpus and the Chris Kringles cookie, and then some cake slices in there. Look at it, it's really rare that you get to see it kind of lit up in here. That's because they had the door open, but now it's dark again. Oh my lord, look at this guys. They actually are selling a collectible Gideon's Bakehouse cookie tin. I did not know about this and then when I got in there, like my eyes lit up just like you're seeing right now. Look at this. Oh my lord, and it comes with a collectible uh, menu only in the tin. And then if you buy three cookies, then you get one of the special edition limited uh, trading cards. I'm gonna pull it out for you in a second here. Look at this. I love that. And then of course, I get the cookies. This tin was $18.98, $18.98. Uh, and then you have to buy the cookies separate. Uh, and I'm so excited. You have to get three cookies though. And uh, I got uh, two Kris Kringles, and then I got the Krampus. And it was so funny because they gave me the Krampus separately. Like they were like, you can't put the Krampus in the Kris Kringle tent because he doesn't play well with others. But how, uh, look at the faces. Look at the characters on the side of this. I absolutely love this. I mean, I might use it to like, I don't know, put stuff in, maybe just random stuff, or I could just literally probably use it as decoration because I think it's so cool. And then uh, the Krampus actually has a uh, cold brew too. So uh, let's uh, dive into the cookies. Let's dive on into the cookie business. First things first, we're going Kris Kringle. Even Kris Kringle gets like a special wrapping too, different from the Krampus. Look at this. Oh man, this cookie definitely is my number two favorite cookie of all time. It is so good. Now we gotta break the cookie. Ah, look at that. Wow. This cookie is so legendary. It really is in the name. It said a complexity flavored white chocolate coffee bean cookie. And you can see the coffee in there, the vanilla. It's the perfect cookie for me, other than the banana. Oh no, cookie down. Now there is a legend if you take a bite of the Kris Kringle cookie and then wash it down with the Krampus Nitro Cold Brew, it opens up a portal to a new world of flavor. And uh, I'm gonna give it a go. Yo, what a delicious minty surprise. Like literally, a minty coffee and a coffee flavored vanilla cookie. Think about that. Minty coffee, coffee flavored vanilla cookie. Together, Unstoppable, the perfect combination. It is time now to get a little dark though. We're gonna have to pull out the darkest, the darkest, <laughs> the darkest cookie. There it is. Oh, Krampus, chocolate with a blast of cooling Andy's mint. Is that a helicopter? What is this, Goodfellas? Here we go. Look at that. Look at all the Andy's mints. 
Let me know. You guys gotta let me know in the comments. Are you Team Krampus or Team Chris Kringle? I am obviously Team Chris Kringle, but you never know. Look at that. Let's give it a go. Both of these cookies are just so good. And that's why I can honestly say I feel like December is my favorite month at Gideon's. Even though I love Halloween and October because that's their anniversary month. But I just feel like the combination, even just Kris Kringle and Krampus together, so good. I'm Team Kris Kringle. I just love that coffee flavor. But I do love Andy Mints. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'm so happy I got the tin. I'm gonna cherish this forever. And these are some of your favorite characters from Gideon's legacy or lore. It's been kind of a crazy, hectic day for me today because I'm a little bit under a time crunch. I'm uh, actually traveling uh, a lot for the holiday season, but not a lot of traveling to go, you know what I mean, to different places. I wanna go home for the holidays. I'm gonna see my mom and sister, and I'm gonna be taking a trip tomorrow. And uh, not my full trip, I'll be back in uh, you know, Florida like in just two days. But I am making a trip tomorrow, and I only have a little bit of time, so I don't know how much more we can do here at Springs, but I do want to walk around and explore, uh, so I guess that's enough. Enough with the cookie business. The Kris Kringle's the winner. Jock Lindsay's hangar bar transforms into the holiday bar during the holiday season, and they have some amazing holiday light bites and cocktails. They've got uh, some milk and cookies or coquito, and then they've got uh, some meatballs, a lot of good food. I love coming here for the holiday season. I wish I had time to go to Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. Like I said, the food is amazing, so we might have to come back and revisit that as it gets closer to uh, the holiday, well, Christmas Day itself. But like I said, I have a lot to do today, so I think we're gonna keep moving along. I need a break, because now I'm hauling around a bunch of cookies and some cupcakes. I went to go get some cupcakes for Gracie, like tradition, but the Ark Adventurers actually already uh, got them. Look at that. Hey. hey. Oh, that's so nice. Honestly, that tin is such a great like <laughs> addition to my collection. I am so excited. Plus, I got the pup cakes, and now I got the coffee. This coffee is so good, too. But I like the character probably the best. Look at that little guy with the Santa hat on it. The little baddie. He's a little baddie. They also brought back the Christmas tree stroll for 2023. And this is a fun little scavenger hunt where you can go around and try to find different decorated Christmas trees. They give you these little stickers and these are the different themed trees. And when you find it, you put the sticker where the tree is and uh, that uh, kind of is like a little map and it's free to do. They have distribution maps all around where you can just pick these up and grab it and have fun. And then when you complete it, you win a prize. Don't worry, I'm going to show you some of the Christmas trees, but I'm not going to complete the whole Christmas tree trail because if I complete it and then show you and you watch it, if you come do it, there'll be no surprise. You know what I mean? But if we, you know, walk past one, I'll be like, oh, look at that tree. Why well, would you look at that tree? Also, up in Pennsylvania, uh, I'm, I, I say tree like tree, but also three. Like I say a couple two tree. Like, you know what I mean? Like how many uh, trees are over there? There's a couple two trees. Just a quick example of the Christmas tree stroll. Right here you have one of the uh, Christmas trees that are on the stroll that you have to guess what the theming is. And it is so well themed. I mean, obviously it's a Disney Vacation Club tree. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> it's obviously a Disney Vacation Club tree. Look at how beautiful it is out here right now. The car just going across the water like that. You can see all the birds on the boat deck. Wow. What a day to be at Disney Springs. The other day when I came here, I think last month, I had, uh, I had dinner right down there at the Edison. How funny is that? And I think I just said the same thing. Whoa, deja vu. <laughs> I think it's time we actually start heading out and go explore around the Magic Kingdom Resort Loop. I want to meet up with some friends who are coming into town as I'm leaving town. So I wanted to spend just a little bit of uh, time with them today. And I just figured I'd bring you along. We'll check out some of the, the decorations, maybe grab a drink, and who knows, maybe stop in the Magic Kingdom. I've been eyeing up the hat box, Ghost. I hear he has appeared. So uh, if it's possible, we might make it. 
Gracie, you want to go for a walk? I'm talking to my mom on the phone. Hi, mom. Hi, honey. <laughs> Gracie, come on, let's go for a walk. <laughs> well, I just realized something that's kind of a bummer. So I uh, came home basically to give Gracie her pup cake and then uh, go take her out for a walk. Uh, but then I realized I'm not going to be able to go see the Hatbox Ghost. There's a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party tonight. I mean, I was going to meet up with some friends and then try to go to Magic Kingdom, see the Hatbox Ghost. And then the worst part of it all is I'm actually going out of town tomorrow so that means uh i'm not gonna see the hat box goes for a while so uh, be on the wear or be on don't be on the lookout for a video from me i'm so sad somebody got you a late birthday present gracie from the ark adventures catch she's not good at catching she usually just lets things hit her in the face I had to swing back and give Gracie a pup cake before meeting up with my friends, but now I am here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Something that blows my mind about Disney's Contemporary Resort is it has my favorite resort Christmas tree, but it's my least favorite resort for the holiday season. How strange is that? There's just something about walking into a resort lobby and seeing a giant Christmas tree right in the center. Just like uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Grand Floridian, Wilderness Lodge. By the way, all three of those are my top three Disney resorts during the holidays. Uh, but this Christmas tree I love because of the gigantic bulbs and the colors. I think this tree, and if it was like inside one of those lobbies, it would be so cozy. It's not though, because it's too contemporary. <laughs> But honestly, isn't it just such a beautiful Christmas tree? I mean, I really do love it. And we're actually going to be meeting my friends at the top there. We're going to California Grill tonight. All the way at the very top there. I bet you you guys are thinking, wow, this is such a random vlog. And there's a reason behind that. If you ask anybody that knows me like really well, they'll tell you I am horrible at texting. I just don't like texting. I like calling. I don't like, I don't know. I just don't like. I guess phones in general. Uh, so most of my friends know like that when they text me, I very really rarely like actually respond and sometimes I respond like seven days later, but I recently changed my phone number and my friend Jen and Lars have been texting me to come hang out because they're here on vacation, uh, but they've been texting the wrong number. So uh, I ran into my friend Mo and uh, she told me about it. So instead of telling them that I got a new number, uh, me and my friend Mo decided that uh, I'm just gonna show up and surprise them because they're up there at the California Grill and they're probably sitting there like yo we texted Nate he's not coming uh, but they don't know that I actually know that they're there and I'm coming alright you guys I brought your surprise to you <laughs> 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 It was a nice little surprise for uh, Jen and Lars. You guys might remember them from some of my videos. We've been friends for a long time. Uh, and now they have my new number. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out here at the California Girl a little bit. They've got some Christmas music. We've got some fancy drinks. And then we're gonna maybe make our way over to the Grand Floridian. Ooh, we got a fancy drink here. Wow, that looks like a little spell, <laughs> like a potion almost. I'm excited. Look at how amazing this is. I know I always show the view at California Grill, but they're playing Christmas music right now. Oh, I love it. Wow, every time I come out here, it's always just like, huh, you know? You can really see everything from up here. Holy moly. What a long ways down, too, I have to. Oh, the monorail! Oh, it's actually doing the Christmas lights, too. It looks so cool. Wow, I'm so happy I actually decided to look down at that moment. You'll actually see the monorails all lit up. Uh, it's like green and red Christmas lights. You'll see they'll change. Wow, what an unbelievable, like this is just amazing up here. 
enough of hanging around at the California Grill. It was so nice. Maybe we'll try to catch the fireworks later on because once you do go there, you can actually come back and uh, just tell them you dined here earlier and they'll actually let you up. Or you have to show them the, your, your receipt. Uh, but now I want to move along. We're going to hop the monorail. We're going to do like Polly, do all of the resorts, but I think I might just want to jump straight to uh, the Grand Floridian. I'm kind of excited to be taking the Christmas monorail with the lights. I wish we got a better color though. Peach? Silver would have been better. Silver? Silver? Silver bells! Like that, yeah. Silver and peach. Look at that. I love that lighting. I was just, it's literally the best thing to come out of the 50th anniversary. Wow, it even smells like Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because of the gingerbread house all the way down there. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Look how beautiful this is. We have made it to the Grand Floridian. Oh, there's the light. We have made it to the Grand Floridian. And I think we're going to go to Narcoosie's, but I want to check out the Christmas tree and also the gingerbread house. Look at how beautiful this tree is in the lobby. That's what I'm talking about. Can you imagine if the contemporary had their tree in the lobby? How amazing it would look. And then, of course, you got the gingerbread house right here. People are lining up because you can buy gingerbread shingles and hot cocoa and gingerbread men. All the good things at the Grand Floridian. Definitely one of the top resorts, like I said, for the holiday season. I think before the end of the night, I'm coming back out here to get me uh, one of those shingles. $11.50 for a jingle bread, a jingle, a, a jingle bread shingle, a jingle bread shingle. I kind of like it. Normally, I'd say let's go to the Enchanted Rose and hang out for a little bit and just kind of take in the ambience. But uh, my friends do want to go to Narcoosie's. It's one of their favorite spots. So we're going to go down there and kind of maybe grab something to eat and relax a little bit. And don't worry, I'm coming back for that shingle. I'm coming coming back for you. Narcoosie's is another great restaurant with an amazing view just like California Grill was and this one you can uh, also see Cinderella Castle and Space Mountain. Really nice for the fireworks and then you sit inside here and you can actually sit at the windows here right on the water. That's the boat docking station but the firework view is so nice. It's so like amazing from here. Can't believe that we went from there to here with just one monorail line. Ooh. I think there was a, a cop siren over there. I love that parade and I liked when they actually did the 50th anniversary one I know sometimes when they first come out they make like an announcement well they did where they're just like good evening Grand Floridian uh, resort guest like you know what I mean they do it for each individual resort I, I didn't catch it though I don't know if they changed that or not yeah, cheers, cheers to paper plates yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Narcoosie's was fun, and it was nice that we got to see the uh, water pageant come out on the water as we were sitting out on the deck there. Uh, but I don't know if I'll go to the poly with the rest of the group, only because I have to get up early tomorrow, but I kind of want to show you the decorations, so maybe we might just swing over there and just show you the decorations and then just call it a night from there. I was going to stop to get my shingle before I had to leave, but unfortunately it looks like the line's too busy. I was going to stop and get my shingle before we had to leave the Grand Floridian, but the line is too long. So I guess just one last look before we make our way out. Man, it's just really beautiful here, especially when they start playing the music too. This is a really good example of the Christmas monorail lights right here because all you see is the lights uh, underneath the port au here. Isn't that so beautiful? It's just so nice. I think I pointed this out like three times already. <laughs> Now we got to move along from the Grand Floridian and I didn't realize that the walkway is closed at the moment So uh, we can't actually walk over to the poly instead uh, I think we're gonna take a, a minivan or a mini Chevy Suburban You can actually book these right through the Lyft app 
and uh, to go from the poly, well, to go from here to the poly in one of these big cars, because we have like uh, at least seven, maybe eight people with us, it's uh, 20 bucks. All right, look at this. I don't think I've been in uh, one of the uh, whatchamacallits before, so this is the first time. Wow. This is my first time in one of these, I yeah, think. Really? Since, uh, well, I mean, when they were minivans, but I've never done them when they're like... Yeah, we're very different now because uh, we have to get a bigger vehicle. Yeah, it's like bigger, bigger. It's like, it's like Disney black, like, you know? They have uh, little cartoons on them too. Yeah, for all the rowdy kids, I start to... <laughs> yeah, all the rowdy kids <laughs> back here. So <laughs> like us. All the, all the rowdy kids like us. And we have made it to the Polynesian. It's a very nice ride. I like this. Uh, it's very convenient, especially because I think you can go from park to park. Can't you go like uh, behind the scenes, like park to park? Is that still a thing with this or no? You can, sure. Yeah, you can. The Polynesian doesn't have like a big Christmas tree, but it's got a nice little one just like that. And uh, it's got some Christmas decorations outside that are really pretty. Some big wreaths, but not too much. Like I said, the contemporary tree is the best. I mean, I love it all, but I mean, I love that one. I mean, out of all the resorts though, I mean, obviously Grand Floridian as a resort and whole. And with that, I am back home now. And uh, what did you guys think of the minivans? I mean, mini SUVs. I thought they were fun. Now, I did, like I said, you could book that through Lyft. Uh, uh, my friend Jen booked it because she was trying to get back to the poly. And I was like, oh, I'll come for a ride. I'll go check out the decorations. Uh, so we uh, got to check out the decorations and got to ride in the Lyft. Uh, but I was going to book an Uber Black because I wanted to get like one of the bigger ones because we had a bigger party and it was nine dollars to go from the Grand Floridian to the Polynesian but when uh, uh, Jen booked the uh, the mini minivan it was twenty dollars so you pay an extra ten dollars to be basically like concierge by Disney and those prices vary it's all done on the app itself uh, but yeah uh, I'm back home now I didn't spend the night out hanging with the friends instead I decided to come see my family so <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, I'm in Pennsylvania right now. The weather's crazy. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't see that one coming, but look at this, back in good old sunny Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a gloomy day and uh, depressing looking like always. <laughs> I was coming up to New York to do some things with uh, Roosevelt's for an upcoming project and uh, it's kind of funny because I was planning on coming home for the holidays already like I wanted to I want to come home for Christmas this year uh, but I was coming up here to do something with Roosevelt's in New York City and I figured why not take the extra day trip since I'm coming up north and just swing by and see my mom sister and Ariel uh, just for the day just just for one day. I wish uh, I could surprise them, but my mom uh, has been doing, uh, she's been having some medical uh, issues recently, so I can't surprise them. They know I'm coming, but uh, I'm just happy to be able to hang out with them and bring you guys, show you guys, say hi. <laughs> And here is the family in the family living room. Ariel, my mom, Bon Bon, everybody's here. Hi, Ariel. Hi. Oh, and Hazel. Oh, I don't think anyone knows about Hazel. <laughs> this is uh, my mom's, well, my mom actually dog sits Hazel. Oh, but yeah, <laughs> they're probably like, when did your mom get a dog? <laughs> Might as well show you guys some family photos here. Look at this one right here. Forever family, but Bonnie looks like she's cropped in. Looks like she actually was just at it. And then there's this photo of me, my brother, and Bonnie together. Isn't that so wholesome? I love it. And with that, now we are done here for the day. I just wanted to say hi. I wanted, wanted the family to say hi. And uh, yeah, it's going to be nice. Going to spend the day with them. We're going to do some nice stuff. Go out for lunch. Maybe brunch. Maybe some, maybe some pedicures. You know, all the fancy things. And then I'm going to head into the city. I might vlog my uh, city trip. Uh, but like I said, it's actually more of uh, kind of like doing Aaron's trip. So I don't know if... I'll vlog it or not. I never really make videos like 
every time I go out because sometimes uh, I don't know I just want it to be natural you know what I mean so like if it you know everything I do is kind of just by choice and not forced at all and I kind of like that so uh, we'll see how it goes and maybe uh, I'll uh, post some stuff on Instagram with my mom and sis and I'll be back up here that's the craziest thing I can't believe it I'll be back up here in just uh, probably two weeks because I'm so excited to spend Christmas home with my family again it's been a long time a long long time so it's gonna be amazing and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it this is one of the wildest Disney Springs Gideon's cookies videos ever but uh, <laughs> yeah we'll see you next time bye